In this video series from the Design Thinking Initiative at Smith College, you will learn the following in three different videos. One, how to search for and download ready-made 3D models for print from websites like Thingiverse. Two, how to modify or make 3D models from scratch in Tinkercad, a free and easy to use online tool. And three, how to load your 3D models into Cura, a program that will allow you to print your model using Ultimaker 3D printers, like the one we have in the prototyping studio at Cape and Annex. Thingiverse is just one of several sites where designers upload their 3D models for others to use, print, modify, and improve. It's free, and while you don't need to create an account to use the service, I would highly recommend doing so if you think you will be 3D printing a lot. Having an account will allow you to favorite models you like, create collections, and also post questions to the designer about the model, all of which are very useful features. Let's start by navigating to the website in our browser, www.thing, the letter I, and then verse.com. There's a lot to explore on Thingiverse, but for now, let's just look at some of the basics. Click on the Explore tab. Eventually, you may want to join a community by clicking the Group option, or you may want to browse models based on categories like fashion or tools. But for now, let's click on Things. Notice that the things displayed are random, and that is because the Explore option is set to Newest. Sometimes it's great to just browse and see what people have made. They may surprise you, but more often than not, you will want to use the search bar to target a specific type of model. For example, let's type in the word robot. Notice that on the left, you can filter your search, but for now, let's stick with the default things. Now search for customizable robot keychain and click on it when it appears. The first thing you will notice is an image of the 3D model. Many models have the option to use Thing View, which will allow you to explore the model in a virtual 3D setting so that you can see it from all angles. As you scroll down, you will see a summary of the model and a section titled Instructions. The depth of each section will depend on the designer and how much information they want to share but there are often great tips and tricks in the instructions about how to print the model successfully. The easiest way to download the model is to click on the tab titled Thing Files. Depending on the model, you may see multiple options, and it's always best to refer back to the instructions so that you download the correct model. In general, you will want to look for files that have .stl or .obj at the end of their names. In this case, we can't see the end of the file name, but notice there is one key difference in the file. One has a thumbnail of the preview image, and one does not. We will want to download the file with the preview image. In addition, you can download all the files in the Thing Files tab by clicking Download All Files in the upper right corner. One special quality of this model, which is referred to both in the name and in the instructions, is that it's customizable. Models that are customizable will allow you to change certain qualities of the model before you download them to 3D print. We can do this by clicking on the Open in Customizer option on the right. Use the sliders to change things like the arm or leg length or angle of the model. Once you are finished, click the blue Create Thing button. You will need to have an account to do this. Name your model, and once it's processed, it will be added to your My Things page in your account. From there, you can download it easily. Download it now and save it somewhere you will remember. We will use it in the next video. Going back briefly to the original model page, there are a few things worth mentioning. First, it's always good to do some research on a model before trying to print it. While Thingiverse is a great resource, it's not always a guarantee that models will print correctly or without problems. The first thing to look for is if anyone has actually made the model successfully. We can find this out by clicking on the Made tab. In this case, the model has been made at least four times that we know of. 
It's also useful to see if anyone has posted photos of their actual prints to give you an idea of what you can expect. The comments section is also very helpful and often full of suggestions by the users that have successfully or unsuccessfully made a 3D print. Lastly, if you really like the model you have found on Thingiverse and you'd like to browse related models, you can see what collections it's been added to. A collection is like a Pinterest page of 3D models, or a page with a group of models organized based on a common quality or theme. Don't forget, if you have an account, you can favorite collections and individual models so they're easy to find later. Or you can try making your own collection. Now that we have gone over how to find and download 3D models from Thingiverse, we will take a look in our next video at how to both create a model from scratch and modify an existing model by making a simple ray gun for our robot in Tinkercad.